Hello everyone, welcome back to Python Tutorials by Code Warriors. In the previous video, we have talked about the for loop. And we have talked it in just a basic way. We talked about how for loops we use for how for, we use for loops with our the different kinds of data types, integer to sets and all. And we have covered it in a much more basic way. Today we are going to talk to, in a much more advanced way in our for loop in a much more you can say in a complex way. And we will Today we will merge for loop with a list and uh, see the operations inside the list with how we can work directly, uh, how we can implement for loop directly inside of a list and complete uh, like two, three lines of for loop code in just a one line. We will see it today. Okay, so without wasting time, let's move on to our spider and see how we are going to do this, all of this. Okay. So in the previous video we talked about the range function inside the for loop and we have used it like uh, uh, for any variable num in range and we have used it like 10 and we printed hello world. hello okay it printed us uh, the hello for the 10 times right like this but to Actually, this is not the complete use of a range function. We talked just the basics like how we can use it, but this is not the complete way of using a for a range function. Now, how what is the actual range function? Is it's just like a slicing. How we does the slicing? We have the start, we have the stop, and we have the stepping points. Same way inside of it also we use start comma stop comma step. Just the difference is in slicing we use colons over here and here we are using use commas okay so the same way we use it and let's implement it let's say from 1 to 11 the stepping point of 2 now what it is going to do it is going to start from 1 it is going to end at uh, as we have given the stopping point 11 so it is going to end at 10 same way the, it works in the slicing and we are giving it a stop a uh, stepping point of 2 so now let's run it f9 and you see here it printed uh, five times hello world. How it works? For the first time, then it step gave a one stepping point, then one, three, five, seven, and nine. It does not even print it uh, for the tenth one because it, there was a stepping point of two and ten was jumped over. So this is the complete way of using a range function inside of it. Now let's talk about the uh, now let's say uh, let's declare declare some string over here. String one. Okay, give it to um, let's say code warriors. Okay, now let's create a for loop for print. Uh, putting converting this string into a list. Now how are we gonna do it? We say for let's say letter in str str okay, one. Then we'll say let's put it in some other or uh, let's create a list also. Um, my list, let's say, and we'll put it here. My list dot append and letter. Now this is how we basically use. Uh, we have learned in the previous video how we are gonna do this thing. How we're gonna run our uh, let's say for loop inside of a string. We declare a for loop, we give we declare a string, then we uh, fetch letter by letter from a string, and here we are what we are doing is appending inside of a list. Now we have in the list we have turned, learned how to append inside of a list. Okay, there is some kind of an error it is showing over here or something. Invalid syntax, why it is. Okay, let's run it. Let's see what error comes. Okay, there was no error. It is some kind of a glitch inside spider. Now you see here in the variable section over here, my list, it says C O D E. Then we have given a space over here and then body code. It is not displaying complete, but if you open it, we can see it's complete code warriors. Okay. But you see, this is a very, uh, you know, how many lines we have used? One, two, three, four lines we have covered for doing this task only. Now, how we can simplify it? We can, how we can do it in a much more simpler way? Now, 
the list has this kind of a feature inside of it. Uh, let's say my underscore list. Okay, equals to. Now we are going. What we are going to do? We are going to put a, a for loop inside of this list. We are going to say for letter in str1. Now this is uh, incomplete because when we are using it inside of a list, we have to give it write it like this: letter for letter in str1. Now what is happening here? Now each letter that is coming over here is getting inside of this letter, this letter keyword and is storing over here. So now if we run this program, okay, first let's let's remove this variable up from here. To remove any variable, all you have to do is right click on it and press remove. Yes, now this variable is removed, it does not exist in the code. Now let's run this program. F9. And you see again this happened. Now what it just within a one line we created this my list. No for loops, no coding inside of the for loop, no indentations, nothing. Okay. Now wait a minute. Yep. Now let's so Okay, now we can do lots of operations inside of this. Like if we want to say, um, let's say anything. Like oh, again, let's create a list. Okay, let, let's say list two equals to. Now what? Let's say uh, let's print the squares of the numbers. Okay, so the squares of the numbers ranging from let's say from zero to ten. So now to do that, what are we gonna do? Is simple is like num for num in range, and we talked about from if we are talking about 0 to 10, then it will be 0, 11. And now we want to do the squares of all the numbers. So we can either write it like num into num, or we can say num 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 asterisk asterisk 2. Now, what is this going to do? Now, whatever the value num will fetch from here. It will give it to this variable and it will the operation over is square. So it will square the variable now and put it inside of a list. So now let's run it and see what happens. F9 and see over here the variable list 2. Here it has 0, square of 0, 1 square of 1, 4 square of 2, 9 square of 3, 4 square of 16. Now we can do more operations like we can use if else inside of this. Now let's say if we want to print only uh, positive squares of only positive numbers. Now we can write f if num percent two first equals to zero. And now let's run it. F9. And now see list two. List only contains the squares of the even numbers. Now more we can work like this is just if now we can create an else statement also and to write an else statement a little bit of a modification we have to create like we use if then over here like this and then we write else and let's say we print squares of even numbers and the cubes of the odd numbers so let's say if num percent to equal to equals to zero then this condition will work else num asterisk asterisk tray okay now let's run this okay wait a minute let me shift it a little bit here so that you can see the whole code and if you run this f9 and now you see let me open it uh, 0 0 1 is an odd number its cube is 1 2 is an even number square 4 3 is an odd number 27 4 is an even number so 16 so this is how you can uh, we use for loop inside of a list to make it uh, you can say reduce the code's length but yeah this becomes a little bit complex and hard to understand but if you write uh, code like this it is easier to understand what's happening over here you can understand it just by looking at it at a blink but when you see this 
you need to put your mind on it. Okay, what I am doing here. Okay, I'm using as this for loop and range. Then I'm use, doing its operation num square. And then there's an if saying num if it is even, then square. And there's an else cube. Okay, this is what happened. But you see, all these kinds of operations we did in a one line. Otherwise, if you are writing, if we have to write this code in a, in like a this method, then it would have taken lots of lines, like 67 lines it would have covered to complete this. So this is all in a Python. We can use much more things over inside of here. You can use lots of functions inside of it. Try it in yourself. If you got any problem, just put it in a comment section, and I will help you. If you don't understand anything, just put it in a comment section, and I will look at it if it. Uh, is of much more requirement then I'll put a separate video over that topic to make you more make you understand it more easily. Okay, thank you. See you in the next video.